show your support. Like, share and subscribe. British guy and welcome to my review of all the PlayStation Plus free games for the PlayStation 3 in the month of September. Now I've already done a video for all of the PlayStation 4 games and there will be another video for all the PS Vita games later this but for this video I'm just covering the PlayStation 3 games and they are Truck Racer and Handball 16. So without further ado let's get started. First up we have Handball 16. Now this is very much like a FIFA or a Pro Evo but for handball instead of football. So basic team based sports simulation game where you can play through single matches or leagues or you can also start a career mode where you create your own custom character put them into a team of your choice and then play through their career. Now the customization is all aesthetic, it's just really changing their appearance and it's quite basic to be honest. I couldn't actually even find a setting for changing whether they were left handed or right handed which was a bit annoying for me because the default is right handed and I happen to be left handed so it would have been nice to have that choice. I wanted to create myself in the game and I wasn't able to properly do it. And I would have thought whether somebody is left handed or right handed in a game like handball would be quite decisive one way or the other in terms of your tactics but clearly not. Other things lacking from this game was any kind of tutorial at the beginning to get you accustomed to a the rules because I can imagine that a lot of people that play this game don't actually know what handball is or how to play it properly or what the rules of the game actually are so it would have been good to introduce that to the player just so that they know what the aim of the game is what they're trying to do and how to do it and also to get you kind of climatized to what the actual controls are if you did happen to know what handball was and what the rules are and how to play it beforehand there is no clear way of knowing how that translates over to this game what any of the buttons are how to make certain passes or certain shots in the game the only way I found that out was to pause mid game and to go into the controls and it gave you a couple of examples of different shots or passes but there was no sort of tutorial to go through these or no training pitch where you could try these different things out in sort of a free roaming area with a few teammates on the pitch to try different tactics or anything like that they basically threw you into the three game modes and that was it the other thing as well while you were playing it was nigh on impossible for me to actually shoot properly i played for quite a while and i managed to score one goal and that was the only time the ball was actually on target no matter how close you got to the goal no matter what team you were playing as whether they were one of the higher stat teams or lower stat teams no matter who you were playing against what kind of shot you were trying to make every single time you got shot in it went miles wide or over the goal whether you were holding the button down for power or tapping it for accuracy like you do in your FIFAs or your Pro Evo where you do sort of little light shots for accuracy getting them in the corner or you do blasting power shots which if they do go massively over the bar you can kind of understand why because you were going for power over accuracy but there was no way to kind of compensate for that they always just went miles wide or miles over and it was so infuriating because there was no reason as to why and because you hadn't been schooled in how best to shoot or pass or anything you had no idea why all your shots were going miles wide couple that with the fact that there was no easy way of defending either there were a couple of button prompts where you could intercept or try and block shots but 
90% of the time, whenever they went through, they were on target and they went in. So if your defence wasn't absolutely perfect, you were going to bleed goals, as I did, and it just became absolutely ridiculous. Couple this with the fact that there wasn't even a difficulty setting to start off, say, in easy mode and work your way up. The only way to sort of change any kind of difficulty would be to pick one of the best teams and play against one of the worst teams but that still didn't really do much because your shooting was still miles wide their shooting was phenomenally accurate whenever they got through your defense and you were still losing matches like 8-0 it was absolutely ridiculous the only real positive i can think about this game is the fact that it was fully licensed so if you are a fan of handball all the teams from the best leagues in Europe were in there with licensed players so that's very very nice to see but it played horribly to be honest and I can't wait to delete it from my hard drive because it's just wasting space at the moment so yeah not a good start for PlayStation 3 games this month after what was a fairly successful month for PlayStation 4 games. Moving on to the other game for PlayStation 3 for September, we have Truck Racer. And this was so much better, it was so much more fun. It was sort of an arcadey version of Gran Turismo, but with lorry trucks. There were various tracks in various conditions of varying lengths, you had some on asphalt and some on dirt, so you had to calibrate your truck for either condition. At the very start, there is actually a training time trial where you can get used to the controls and there were prompts on there as to braking and your sort of nitro boost bar and how to fill that up by kind of knocking into other races on the track, handbrake slides and things like that, just going through all the basics so that when you went into the first race in your career mode, you weren't going in completely blind and you actually stood a fighting chance. Couple this with the fact that you start off on easier races, they're much shorter, and the computer drivers are of a lower level because it's a, an easier tournament at the beginning it just lets you get your eye in and then once you win those races and tournaments you're able to get enough credits to unlock harder tournaments so you can actually progress in a sensible manner you can also use those credits to unlock not only aesthetic upgrades to your truck but also make them quicker or brake better or more resistant to any damage anything like that and that is completely 100% up to you how you customize your truck based on how you want to race do you just want speed above anything else you can go for it are you more cautious do you want better handling or more resistance in terms of um, damage resistance from other trucks you can tailor your truck that way as well it's completely up to you and because of that you are then able to race the way you want to race in order to win more and more races and trophies to unlock the next stage now don't get me wrong again like child of light this isn't something that is brand new to us as i said in that review it's not going to set the world alight as this one won't either but it's a hell of a lot more fun than handball was it's a nice different dynamic to just your basic car racing games and you could actually feel that they handle differently from any other car racing games that you've got obviously these trucks are calibrated very differently so they're going to drive differently and they do do that and as you improve them, you can feel this improvement in the handling, in the braking, in the acceleration, much like you do in something like Gran Turismo. Couple that with the fact that you can do other various sort of one-off races, both online and offline. So it's not just you against the computer all the time. You can go online and race against other races in network races, which is a nice little addition as well. So, in terms of buy, try or fly, these are the two games again, and their prices. As you can see, Handball normally retails at $19.99 on PlayStation Store, and Truck Racer retails at 
10.99 and i'm sure you can guess what i'm going to say about handball i could not stand this game fly away from it it's not even worth the free download to be honest as i said i cannot wait to delete it from my hard drive just so that it's not taking up space if you really want to have a go if you're an avid handball fan Try and get it before the end of the month because $19.99 for it is an absolute rip-off for a dog of a game. It's horrible. Avoid this one like the plague if you can. And Truck Racer, if you want something different from your racing rather than the norm, it's certainly worth trying. Again, as I said, it's not going to set the world alight, so wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to purchase the game, but... I'm pleased I was able to get it for free um, and I will look forward to sort of dipping in and out of it every now and then. So I would certainly suggest giving it a go for yourself and seeing how you feel about it. If you are an avid racing fan, this might be right up your alley and you'd be willing to pay that ten ninety nine. but certainly get it before the month's out and give it a go for yourself. So there we go, they were my thoughts on the PlayStation 3 games for PlayStation Plus subscribers for the month of September. If you've played either of these games yourself, please let me know what you thought about them in the comments below. As I said, there will be a follow-up video for the PS Vita games later this week. And there is already a video for the PS4 games, so please check that video out if you haven't done so already. I have been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>